All right. Your own uncles and aunties won't even protect you because they're not there to protect you. They're there to protect the system. All right. And they'll throw you out if you make too much noise. Don't you know that? Oh, you make too much noise or you try to confront some things. They'll just simply cast you out because now you're the outcast because you're making us uncomfortable. You're shedding light on our perfect family and we can't have that. So rather deal with the pain. We'll just cast you out. You'll just be the outcast and then we'll tell everybody that you're the crazy one. All right. That you're the one that tried to break up the family. No, you are the chosen one. Like Solomon said yesterday, you're the chosen one and they know it. That's why you're never going to fit in. You're trying to fit, uh, fit a, a square peg into a round hole or a round hole into a square peg. You're never going to fit in with that family. You're never going to fit in with your narcissistic mother because you were called to stand out. You are a peculiar people. You are a royal, royal priesthood. All right. So while you're trying to uh, fit in with people, all right, you got to be you got to be seeking God for what he has called you to do, especially in this 11th hour. But that what happens in this house stays in this house is why so many people are walking around here unhealed all right and people think that they can put a little success on it people think that i can just uh you know i, I i'll just make six figures i'll just do this i'll just do that and i was one of them so that's why i can talk about it because now i'm delivered from the burden of other people's opinions so your opinion about me doesn't matter because you don't validate me you don't make me so therefore you can't break me because if i live by your love i will die by your hate all right so i don't give that give people that type of control over my life I don't give you that type of control over me, all right? So that is the danger of what happens in this house, stays in this house, because people can't get delivered. That is why you have people sitting in churches, on church pews, on committees with fancy titles, all right? And they're walking around in undeliverance. You have people sitting in the choir, all right, on every, on every committee when they go to church and they sit in the church and they don't get delivered. They don't get healed. They don't walk into repentance because what happens in this house stays in this house. And as long as we can pretend like everything is all right, as long as we can pretend like I, I don't need, I don't need help. I, you know, it, it is what it is, you know, you know, and I can pretend like you're the crazy one. I never have to confront what's going on with me. All right. That's dangerous. What happens in this house stays in the house. You better get some healing. You better get some repentance about yourself. You better, you better figure this thing out. Right. I'm not hiding no more because I'm free. All right. And people who are free, don't worry about people who are in bondage like that. All right. It's the people who are in bondage. They worrying about you because they don't want you to tell the secrets. They don't want you to tell anything all right they don't want you to tell anything that may look at th that may uh make them appear as if they are in a bad light all right so rather than confront themselves they'll make you look like the crazy one to heck with that i'll look like the crazy one but you know what i'm walking in deliverance you know what i'm saying things that you refuse to say and that's why i can sit in this seat and say i am healed all right because I'm no longer pretending that everything is all right. I'm no longer okay with status quo. And when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, you won't hide it anymore. You won't hide the secrets anymore because you want to be free. And you know that the word says that we overcome by the blood and by overcome by sharing our testimony. The Bible doesn't lie. God's word never lies. It never returns void. So you can rest assured that if God says that, that's exactly what it means. So if you're walking in secrecy and you are walking in undeliverance, all right, I can, I can almost guarantee that, all right? Because, well, I guarantee you are because you can't be free like that. You cannot be free hiding things. Oh, you're not free. You're bound and you have chains around you. And that's why I say we break the chains of abuse. All right. That's what we do. We're no longer doing status quo.